we continue to lose properties, we continue to lose lives, we continue to uh, get our country damaged. Um, what we need to do as a country is to invest enough uh, in solving the situation. Um, I know it's not possible to stop it completely, but once we make an effort to control it, then we are saving lives, we are saving property. And we can be sure we are building a country that will attract uh, people to the country. Uh, you see, what is worrying is for the past five, six years, it's been it's been bad, it's been worse because we we you know before before uh, this government came into power. Um, we used to dread the order mm. constantly. You and I remember that uh, even uh, Ibrahim Mama mm. offered to do it for us for free. We had a lot of noise around that time. Uh, this president, for instance, uh, when he came into power, he promised the people of Ghana that he was going to make Accra the cleanest city in Africa. This kind of situation is terrible. They came in with uh, this sanitation levy. Uh, they collect the tax. They collect the tax every month. We all pay. But the situation is becoming worse. We have our drains choked. No dredging is being done, but monies are being wasted. Uh, last year, the sanitation ministry, when they appeared before the committee, the budget estimates, I inquired to know what they were using our sanitation tax, the levies that they collect, what they, they were using it for. Surprisingly, so much money was paid in, uh, to a company that was uh, supposed to have done the dredging. But if you get to the Odo River now, you see the, 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 the salt, the, 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 the way it's choked. And so these are some of the things that cause the, 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 the flooding that we have. But uh, do we need the committee to do more, especially the committee on works and housing? Yes. Your oversight, so, uh, is it really been done? Uh, wouldn't that solve uh, some of those problems we have? You see, the committee is handicapped. In, 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 in Parliament, the budgetary allocation to the committee, sometimes a committee wants to go and it becomes a challenge. In our case, we, 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 especially from a minority, I remember myself and my uh, ranking, we spoke with the chairman a number of times to see how we could go out. Unfortunately, we couldn't do that movement. I remember uh, seven parliament, the committee moved a lot. We even traveled outside Accra to uh, do certain projects. But this time around, it's not easy. The committee is handicapped. But like uh, the leader said yesterday, I think uh, we we'll have to step up uh, a bit. We have to up our game. And if we have to use our private vehicles to move, we may have to do that to ensure that uh, we, we, the money that we give to the, 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 I mean the ministry is not wasted. You see, the minister in charge of Western Council should know that this is the time for the ministry to work. This is the time for the ministry to ensure that all our dreams are cleared of debris. This is the time for the ministry to sit up because we cannot continue to be losing lives, especially the young people. What happened at uh, uh, Honorable Sylvester's constituency was terrible. We lost young people, no fault of theirs. You sleep at your home only to wake up to meet them. It is only uh, in, in Ghana that we can have some of these things happening. I, I remember last year, the committee leadership visited Germany, Frankfurt. We had a very lengthy discussion with uh, the mayors over there. And we only needed the ministry to step up. We only needed the ministry to, 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 to act on certain reports. We just working around to even get grant, not a loan, grant for the country to improve on these dreams. You see, like the speaker said, this is not a time for us to be constructing open drains. Open drains invite the public to throw rubbish into the drains. This is the time for us to be building solid covered drains. This is the time for us to control the building of houses. This is the time for us to ensure that every gutter is made clean. But this time, people will collect debris from the gutters and dump them by the gutters. So as soon as it rains, everything moves into the gutters again. And we get the gutters get choked. Would we ever in our history as a nation solve this perennial problem or we should relocate our capital um, city. Our attitude, we don't implement our laws, we don't ensure that 
uh, taxes collectors are, are utilized properly, we could not be in this mess. So what we need is we should, we, should, we should be deliberate about whatever that we're doing. We should ensure that our laws work. We should ensure that people who are put in offices do their duties without any interferences. You'd be surprised that uh, some houses being constructed on waterways, owners of those houses will be linked to certain people. And so when, 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 when the law, people who are implementing the law, if they want to take them on, just phone calls will destroy their work. So it is time for us to ensure that people are allowed to perform their duties without any hindrances. It is time for us to ensure that ministers put in ministries do their work diligently. It is time for us to, uh, to, 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 to ensure that taxes paid to governments are utilized to the benefit of the people. We should not use our taxes to travel. We should not use our taxes to do things that do not matter to our people. And so I think we don't need to move the capital. We only have to ensure that our laws work. We only have to ensure that monies are put at the right places. We have to ensure that ministers do their work. Ministers should stop traveling unnecessarily and stay in Ghana and work for the people of Ghana.